You know, parents would do anything to keep their children safe, but sometimes it's out of their hands. News Channel 20's Esther Kwan tells us why lawmakers could make you feel more at ease about sending off your kids in a school bus. She joins us in studio with the latest. Esther? John, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says every year four children are killed while riding school buses. Right now, there's no law that requires kids to wear seatbelts on school buses, but that might change. Two bills have been filed in the House and Senate. They would require school buses to have three-point seatbelts. Those are the seatbelts that go across your lap and come across over the shoulder and across your body as well. It's something that local parents tell me needs to change. That's me putting my child's life in someone else's hands twice a day, every day that they go to school. And it's not okay that they don't have seatbelts. Right now, some local districts do have buses with seatbelts, while others do not. Some people argue that it's actually safer for children not to wear seatbelts on a school bus and that the buses are designed to keep students safe without them. And it's an estimated cost of between seven and eleven thousand dollars to put seatbelts on each bus. The Secretary of State's office says the funding would have to come from the local communities or the bus companies.